Okay, so setting up your WordPress site, uh, basically you can set up your entire PBN on WordPress. It doesn't matter to, I, you don't really need to go and mix the CMSs and use like different CMSs. It's fine if your entire uh, PBN is hosted on WordPress because WordPress is powering more than like 33% of websites online today. So that's not, not really a footprint. So go ahead and do that. Uh, because it's quick, it's fast, it's got some plugins that will help you speed up your work and, and save you a lot of time. Uh, the kind of site that you set up is important. So you need to understand, are you building like a company site? Is this going to be a PBN site that resembles a company that uh, is sort of in business? Uh, or is this going to be a personal blog site that, you know, that gives a more a touch and feel of a, you know, a person behind running the blog uh, in case Google comes to check it? You know, you basically need to make sure that your PBN site looks real if Google comes and checks it. Uh, if you have left any footprints behind, which is why would they would come in the first place. And, uh, and then you have, and then it could be a magazine or a news site, which you could like update every once in a while or often or you know depending on your activity or on how powerful the site is and how much juice you want to derive from that site so to sort of ask yourself these questions like what what is each of my pbn site like what kind of pers uh, uh, structure does it want to take what kind of personality does it want to have and then proceed from there and that will then tell you what kind of plugins you want to put how often you want to update it what theme to use, um, you know, how many backlinks you want to build from that, whether you want to build a social profile activity behind it and things like that. So it's important to you for you to ask yourself this question and then proceed based on the, the answer that you have for each PBN site that you build. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.